chug, chug. <laughs> I was like, what are you going to say? Angel is drinking Pedialyte. I'm drinking water. Welcome to the most hydrated podcast of 2021. <laughs> you know how popular Pedialyte is for us? Like, we had a whole end cap. End cap, like, you know, the end of the row. Mm-hmm. Um, display of pure Pedialyte. And then we have a whole um, palette of the one from Central America. Yeah. What's that one called? Sweat oil. It's... I don't even know what is it called. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But it's on a glass bottle. And people mm. prefer that. Even though it costs like three ninety nine, and the plastic one costs like two ninety nine. They're like, yeah, that one's more pure. I'm like, I'll take your word for it. Yeah. <laughs> I it's, can't prove you wrong. <laughs> it's thicker. So I could I, I could believe that. It's thicker, and this one's like more watery type. So I think that's what makes, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Thick water. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Somebody was like, I, it feels like I'm just drinking salt. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> uh, not really sold on that one. <laughs> <laughs> but athletes drink a ton of it because it's better than Gatorade. I could, I could see that. Gatorade's just got way too much sugar in it. You're muted. I knew it was flashy. <laughs> I was like, I see your mouth moving, and you're not. I'm not hearing anything. <laughs> I was like looking at the thing. It says like, why is it flashing? I'm like, well, he won't let me know. It means that you're on a hot streak. Keep it up. <laughs> uh, okay. With that being said, oh, the intro. intro. Boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> uh, so what's up in Sawyer's life at the current moment in May? Oh, <gasps> we we haven't talked in over a week. I know. Well, besides Snapchat, but yeah. it's been uh, it's been a bit because yeah. Last week, you weren't feeling the best, and then yesterday, I was making trips to Lum- mm, uh, my uh, my suburb. <laughs> <laughs> so, how? Yeah. Uh, but so, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a tiny bit. I mean, main, main things in my life are we're officially starting to, like, pack up and move. Um, and so, pulled out your suitcase. Um, and I was the flyest guy walking down the sidewalk with my blue suitcase. They didn't know it was coming, but <laughs> we're making trips and everything. The big stuff is just like, we're cleaning out all the closets and stuff. Like we haven't moved clothes or dishes or anything like that yet. It's mainly just like clutter stuff. Uh, I'm getting in a good spot there, but it's, it's going to stink over like next week because we're going to be after the work day, we're going to be making back and forth trips every every day and so it's about an hour there and then an hour back and so it's gonna be i guess no really rest time until nine o'clock every night which is gonna stink but it'll be fine we'll get over it it'll be a week of suffering but it'll be worth it when it's done is may your last month at the apartment yeah so um the 31st is our last day here Technically, and so, yep. I think they just sent us an email with like, "It need your apartment needs to be clean. If this isn't this, like, here are all the fees for things that are done, and it's like hundred dollar fine if like there are like light bulbs that need to be replaced." I'm like, "What are you gonna do with a hundred dollar light bulb? Like, come on." I was wondering. Like, I don't uh, think any light bulbs need to replace, but if they do, like, they've been out for a while, so. <laughs> How much was your deposit? How much are you thinking you're going to get back? I don't think we had a deposit. I don't think they had a... One second. Yeah, no deposit. I just asked Candace. What? <laughs> yeah. What? And so, I, we just had to pay um, like the, the month in advance. 
mm. when we first did it. So like we put our first two months and I think that they considered that the deposit. And so I think that we had assigned something that was like, if there's any like crazy damage, then they're going to just charge it, charge us additionally or something. So uh, okay. they didn't take anything out previously. Uh, thankfully. Yeah. It's more hassle. Cause like who wants to pay after you move out? Yeah. Not me. So <laughs> <laughs> like, what can they get you on? Like we'll put it on the record. Most people are like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, I feel like if people did something, like, super bad, they could, like, blacklist them, but it's, like, I don't see myself living in the city in an apartment anytime in the very near future, if ever again, so, like, blacklist me for all I care, like, yeah. I'll be fine, but. Yeah. Huh. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. But it's crazy, because, like, all the apartments over here, like, everybody's moving out, um, and so... It's like every other week you you'll see like two moving trucks coming in, like people moving out and stuff. It's a why lot more people think, moving out than moving in. Why do you think that is? COVID. I think yeah, Social COVID. <laughs> and so people yeah, and so initially people were uh, like getting their leases for the year, and then since that year time frame's coming up, like people are just going other places. Oh. And like we have a very open concept apartment, and mm-hmm. so it's like when Candace is talking on the phone and i'm talking on the phone like it just sounds like we're yelling over each other and so it's a great apartment if you don't have to work from home but if you have to work from home with somebody else working from home it's Mm -hmm. just too much and so it's not the best environment for that but Mm -hmm. it's very interesting Mm -hmm. i seem like the pauses back at in the college life of like you hardly got that back (laughs) yeah (laughs) the cleaning fee was like ridiculous it was always like five hundred dollars for a little carpet, and it's like, okay, do what you got to do. Yeah, and, and then, I mean, they could always get you on something like too with college. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember one. There was one new story of like this um, student. Um, she wanted to move into her apartment, um, but apparently, once she got there, it wasn't ready. Mm. Uh, but I think it was like the day that she was supposed to move in. So what they told her was, put your stuff in another apartment in the meantime, because she already had her truck and everything. So she put it in an empty apartment. I think like I don't know how much time passed by. Um, she came back and her stuff was gone. So interesting. So she just got robbed. <laughs> <laughs> or did the like, people come and like throw it all out because they assumed that it was supposed to be an empty apartment yeah there's a, a miscommunication somewhere along the lines there um that her stuff that was put into like that empty apartment yeah it basically got thrown out Jeez. or people just took it and so i think she sued the company and the company doesn't have that great of a track record with deposits and at least from the student standpoint, I don't know about the court standpoint because it was from the court standpoint. All you need is pictures. Yeah, sure. it's like see, it wasn't that clean, and then they'll charge you accordingly, or get a company to charge you. It's not necessarily the cheapest clean mm-hmm. service on the block. <laughs> there was there was another thing too with I think a kid sued because. Um, he wasn't given his deposit, his damage deposit back, but he had pictures and like the apartment wasn't like perfectly fine shape. Um, and so the people were just like trying to take his money basically. And he sued and I think he ended up winning. Um, but I mean, it's just wild sometimes to think about because th- they probably do that all the time where like they were just like, yeah, it's this, it's this, it's this. And people, they're like, people aren't going to like push back on it because, mm. If it's only three hundred, four hundred dollars here and there for like a twelve hundred dollar, I don't know, like damage deposit, they'll be like, "Oh, I got eight hundred of it back." But yeah, yeah. But if it's like you're running an apartment. Make sure you take pictures when you move in. Yeah, and note down every single like thing that's wrong with the apartment, mm-hmm. so they don't blame you once you move out. Being mm-hmm. like, the door's crooked. I'm like, that was there from the beginning. And it's like, yeah. Did you write it down? If not, then don't. Do say it was you. Yeah. <laughs> in me and Kansas' old apartment uh, before this one, um, my bedroom door, like, it looked like somebody had, like, punched it really hard and it was, uh-huh. like, indented in. Uh-huh. And we took photos of that, like, the other <laughs> things. So I'm like, that was there. Do not try to be, like, 
saying that I caused that or anything. Uh -huh. I, I think in college too, one of my closet doors had like a big streak on the side of it. And I'm just like, mm -hmm. I did not do that. Like I've got photos <laughs> to prove it. But yeah, you have, you have to go around to everything. Uh, Candace watches a lot of Judge Judy. So we're <laughs> very good about this. <laughs> Judge Judy. What's a, um, a recent case you can talk about from Judge Judy? I don't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see what one time it was like another podcast of like, um, I forgot what was his name, but he fired his co-host on like apparently on live of the podcast. Oh, impulsive. Jake Paul with. Was it that or was it? No, it was another one. I think that one he just walked out, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the Mike guy. I don't know what his last yeah. name is. He just walked out, yeah. I thought that's what you were... But he, yeah, like, no. the, the, some other one, the guy, like, legitimately fired his friend. He uh, legit co was like, you, um, sir, you are in breach of contract. From now on, like, you, you are fired. You're not welcome back. I was like, wow. So the fans... Is this how out. you tell me that I'm no longer welcome <laughs> on the <this> podcast? <laughs> and following in those footsteps, Sawyer, um, please leave this uh, Skype call. <laughs> and those was it. He literally went, You are no longer welcome. And like he was the other guy wasn't there. They were already like going back and forth along like fighting. Um yeah. So the main guy who owns like the business of everything, um uh I like how uh, Barso like basically put it. He was like the main guy. Um, the other guys were just getting like a paycheck, but they wanted like more from it. And, yeah. Um, the main guy was like, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just, yeah, I, I looked it up. It's Joe Budden. Yeah. Joe Fires Budden. Fires podcast co host Rory and Mal. I think it happened today. That's why it's so crazy that like. That's just four hours ago or nine yeah. hours ago. Fan la fans are lashing out. He did it live on an episode. And I think he deleted the episode, but th that part, is, it's on Twitter. This video of him literally being like, you are in breach of contract. You're fit, fired. You're no longer welcomed here. It's like, oh. That's wild. The guts to do that. Yeah. So I, he he fired both people then? That is. Or maybe it was just one. I, no, I think it, was, it said two. But that's wild. Yeah. Because obviously it was a big enough podcast for people to care about, like writing articles on it. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, the rapper, the main guy, I think Joe Budden. Yeah. He's the pump it up uh, song guy. Pump, 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 pump it up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> people are listening to a podcast for. I know, he might be a very intellectual guy, but I, <laughs> I apologize, Joe. Please don't come at me. I'm not under your contract. I had that viral hit, and then he's like, pump, um, pump, pump, pump it up. Person. <laughs> you know, I need a podcast. <laughs> yeah, really was, he's like doing well. The, my source is his barstool video guy who says he's killing it in the music podcast um, realm. I'm like, oh. And then when he he put that song, I'm like, oh, I know that song. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of that one before. <laughs> that was so mainstream. Like, yes, I definitely heard that one. That was just crazy to think about. Ah, yeah. Well, um, to – I forgot their names, but whoever he fired, if you're looking to join another podcast um, <laughs> free of charge, you can come over to Talk Men Tuesday. <laughs> and I don't know if you identify as male or female, but the name will be cha staying the same. It's going to be Talk Men Tuesday. Sorry. So. <laughs> we support you. <laughs> they were arguing about, I think, equity and uh, I don't know if like they, um, more pay or whatnot, but yeah. Yeah, going to talk on Tuesday. Things are looking so bright in the, in the income ratio. <laughs> you can you can have twenty five percent equity in our company. <laughs> By the way, please bring some money over, and we will split it. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. <laughs> you didn't have equity there. You'll have equity here. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, if we make a dollar, we are growing at a very good rate. So yeah. the dollar opportunities are endless here. A dollar a podcast? Oh my goodness. That's infinite times better than what we're currently doing. <laughs> <laughs> I want to look back and see like, if we, we reach like 10 cents or 20 cents. Let's see. 
You're gonna make me want to look back at the video. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, we made three hundred dollars <laughs> on our uh, what the uh, Charlie D'Amelio yeah. <laughs> title like one. But um, I wonder if if it was searched on YouTube as much as it was searched on um on the actual podcast. Because on the podcast, listening to it, those are the best um, uh, best shows. Mm. Their name on it. But I haven't checked on the YouTube site which one's the best episode. Or most viewed episode. Yeah. Is that one still it by far, though, on the podcast site? Yeah. Listening wise, yeah. I think it's probably reached like 500. And that was what? Like, yeah. I think overall. I mean, props to the people that literally just click on it, realize it's not what they think it is, and then click <laughs> off of it. That still counts. But... Yeah, yeah. It really does. Okay. Here we go. We're going to comparison. It's like their episode's like so far up, but then you see like the, our average, and I'm like, oh, damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> damn. Average you, five. <laughs> Appreciate you. <laughs> okay. We're going to go um, to the chart right now. It's Karen Logan. Okay. So all time. 2,770 plays, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Where is it? Oh. Wow. All right. Maybe it's not fully there. No, it's not. Darn it. Oh, come on, analytics team. We need you. It might be too far back. Uh... Oh, well. Let me see. All right. Yeah, 438. 438 views? Oh, my. I'm quitting my day job <laughs> for that one video. <laughs> hey, we averaged out like 1020. And we asked Ray close to 100. So, yeah. Hey. What's... um. What countries have we gotten listeners from? Dude, I can't explain this one. <laughs> like, I can't. Ah. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Brazil, Canada, Japan, 3%. Australia. We need to start learning Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Let's listen to podcasts in the United States. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> So sorry. This is your first impression of Americans. <laughs> okay. Yeah. United Kingdom, Ireland, Sweden, China, Norway, Germany, Philippines, Saudi Arabia, hmm. Mexico, Luxembourg, New Zealand, Singapore, Nigeria. Luxembourg. That's in Europe too, right? France, Netherlands, Hungary, Russia, Myanmar? Oh, Myanmar. United Arab, Iraq, Albania, Greece, India, Lebanon, Ghana, Switzerland, Spain, Dominican Republic. Where Dominican. who is listening to us? Who um, finds our videos? These what? are all less than 10, this one percent. So maybe just like one person clicked on it. I don't it, care. Yeah. Counts. <laughs> Republic of Moldova, Belgium, Israel, a country named Latvia. Oh, Latvia and. Herzegovina, I think. Turkey, Denmark, Indonesia, Slo Slo Slovenia, Namibia, a country named Andorra. Oh, Andorra? I think that's, a the, that's the smallest country in the world. Wait. Like A N D O R R A. -R -R -A. -R -R -A. Yeah. Yeah, Mania. I think that's the smallest country in the world. Peru, Estonia, Egypt. Sri Lanka, Sir, Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka, Lanka. Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka, Lanka. Ukraine, Armenia, <laughs> Kenya, Paraguay, Martinique, Mozambique, Georgia. I love it how you are like you're going through and you're like and Andorra, like, you're like not like not like struggling with some words, but like some of them like you're not sure about, and then Paraguay. <laughs> <laughs> So if I mispronounce any other name, I got Spanish down. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm like, uh. <laughs> yeah. 
I would like to thank Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie for our uh, international um, <laughs> viewership. Who is this Charlie chick? She's from the United States. Ooh, there's a podcast from her. Yeah. Um, here we go. Ready? Addison Ray, Addison Ray, Addison Ray. Now we can throw Addison Ray in the title because we talked about it. <laughs> <laughs> and technically, it's not clickbait because we actually talked about it. Mm-hmm. And then we talked about other random stuff. Um, we talked about Jake Paul and Impulsive, so we could throw out Jake Paul, Addison Ray, and Charlie. What do these three people have in common? Click to find out. <laughs> that's what I need to do. I have like little segments and then cut it up and put it on TikTok. Kind of a lot of people are doing that now, and it's like actually working for people. Mm. It's like it's little clips, and that's how you. It's like the trailers of like movies. We do that to the podcast, and hopefully. Once TikTok reveals the going live on it, we'll be able to go live on TikTok. Oh. That's the podcast, and we'll do it there. But the feature is still not allowed on my profile, so. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're shadow banned. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I finally got three-minute videos, though. So that's the hey, one. there you go. And then now I'm like, I looked up, like, how do you go live on TikTok from, like, a PC mm-hmm. in a step? There's like a step that I couldn't figure out, and then like finally one article was like, like this step is only like available to to like people who have it. Like, like TikTok has allowed you to, to use it. Like, it's not everybody. I'm like, oh, that makes a ton of sense. <laughs> That's why I'm struggling so hard with this right now. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> it, it says there's just supposed to be this option. I keep going live. There's no option right there. <laughs> <laughs> and all your followers are like. Going live, not live, live, not live. live. What's happening, Angel? <laughs> That's what was happening this morning. <laughs> oh, you were doing it this morning, too? <laughs> finally, this article was like, um, it's, o- it's only revealed to some users at this point. It's not everybody. So, mm-hmm. it's not revealed to me. So, you know how on your TikTok you're doing the uh, the chest camera? with was mm-hmm. like you making like different dishes and stuff. Yeah, um, I've been like a lot of those are becoming on my for you page. Like, there's the Cold Stone guy, the Subway guy that does it. I, a Taco Bell guy is now on my for you page, and he makes different Taco Bell menu items. No way! So that's becoming like a new a new big thing. Amazon um, packaging people or just like packaging people, just with as they're taping up boxes and stuff like that. Yep. That could be satisfying. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. That yeah. could be. Easy to watch. A lot of viral videos are just like them packaging the boxes. And you're like. Wow. Packaging and now unboxing videos. What's the world going to be to next? In shipment videos. <laughs> we have UPS drivers. Oh, great. This, See, we got them all now. <laughs> yeah. UPS, uh, this chick became really famous. And she was a helper. She she wasn't a driver. She was the helper. Oh, yeah. For the, she had like kind of like a squeakier voice. Mm. Or like a. A smaller voice, I should say. A higher tone? Yeah. Mm-hmm. She was like, <laughs> hi. I don't. I forgot like, what her co-driver's name was. But she was like, good morning, Bill. And then <laughs> yes, I was like, <laughs> morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. like trying Because um, she is smaller. So like big packages. She's like, I got this. I got this. <laughs> uh, all right. She did one video where like she closed the, hat, uh, I don't, the hatchet. She like used her all her body weight towards like closing. jumping up and then <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> she has high energy. So I think mm-hmm. she has a lot going for her. She passed a million. I think she's also oh, she like three. yeah, nice. She's like, she just seems like a positive person. Like you mm-hmm. said, kind of the good energy kind of around her. Oh. Definitely. And then like a couple other people try to be that driver on TikTok. Mm-hmm. But I think she's currently still number one. Yeah. Oh! <gasps> Did you see the Canelo fight? No. <gasps> uh oh. What happened? I'm going to Google it just so I can pretend like I'm in the know. But what happened? Canelo versus, I forgot the other guy. The other guy was like, uh, yeah. But both of them were really um, tough fighters. They were going at it, um, you know, uh, talking a lot of smack on. <clears throat> Their interviews and whatnot. Um, Canelo actually predicted he was going to knock him out at on the eighth or ninth round. Um, the other guy was like, uh, uh, he, uh, 
um, if there was no way he wasn't getting out of the corner or whatnot, he had to be dead for him not to get out of the corner. And guess what happened? He got out of the corner. After the eighth round, he didn't leave oh, the corner. Really? Yeah. <laughs> on the eighth round, um, Canelo hit him like on, uh, I want like the left cheek, and like towards the eye too. It was a good hit. He didn't get knocked down. You just see him. He stumbled a little bit, and after that, his hot eye was shut. Oh, it was swollen. That it was shut, and you could just see he was trying to dodge everything and hug. Canelo after he would like um try to punch him, and so that round and then Canelo knew it too. He was just like um ch- um taunting the crowd to like cheer him up because he knew he was winning at that point. Yeah, his eye. Was I mean, you just shot. go to the right side and that guy can't see you. Dude, it, it, it's hard with two eyes. Like a <laughs> professional boxer, you're like still trying to dodge everything. Weave with two eyes and then having no depth perception yeah. because you only have one eye. Then. I uh, what was it? It was when Ronda, R- R- well, when Ronda Rousey was like huge, and I forgot who she fought and lost to. I want to say like Holmes or something. Yep, Holly, uh, Holly Holmes. Holly Holmes, yeah. But apparently, like Holly had like a really good kick right away, and then uh, I was watching the post game interview or some post uh, fight interview, and she was like, "Yeah, after that first kick, I just." couldn't tell how far things were away from me. So she's like, that's why I was swinging. I was just missing because I thought that Holly was closer than she was. And I'm like, that sucks. After the first hit, when you can't tell where the depth is, like you just know that you're in for a long evening <laughs> or I guess a quick evening. <laughs> yeah. It's like my Tyson said, everybody has a plan until you get punched in the face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's so true. Mike Tyson, he's, he's having a, uh, a documentary or something that's coming out or, or came out. Uh-huh. But uh-huh. like MMA and boxing, that's something that I think is crazy. Just like how beat up these people like faces get, like if it's a tough match and then like they're willing to jump right back in the, uh, in the ring or the octagon just because one, the money's there, but like, they're just tough people. I'm just like, mm-hmm. if, I feel like if I get to a point where, my eyes are swollen. I'm bleeding. Like my shin is just bruised. Like I'm not gonna be feeling too hot. I want to go back. But again, if you grow up around it, it's just a different, different thing for you. I forget who said it, but they're like, yeah, the toughest like boxers are like <clears throat> they be counted for like MMA as well. It's like um, really poor neighborhoods. It's like come from the dirt, <laughs> like because no. oh. they know like how to struggle. I'm like, what? No. I guess that makes sense. You gotta have like that courage and just like that grind to get hit in the face and keep going. So are you are you big into boxing? Um what not eh. if it's like a big event. It. Yeah. If it's a big event then yeah. Um I actually saw it because of another the, the, the TikTok the same TikTok user. He puts it up on his TikTok, so I saw it live. Like, yes. <laughs> I save my money. <laughs> um, if the copyright people from the fight are there, um, I did not do this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think MMA and like boxing is really cool. Yeah, what's the? There's like a younger boxer who I, I think he's undefeated. Garcia. Yeah, yeah. See, I have to give you a very little descriptive, and you know who I'm talking about. But is is he still undefeated? Because I. I Still don't think he's lost. I think so. It's Ryan Garcia, right? Yep, Ryan, yep, Ryan Garcia. Yeah. He's really good with his social media. His yeah, marketing that. crew. Mm-hmm. He, yeah, he, yeah, he partners up with social media stars. And apparently um, his whole team, they do a good job at um, uh, at who he's going to face. Cause, so, like, they make sure that, um he can beat one, beat them, and then two, it's actually worth it for him to like actually beat them. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so I think we've seen Ryan and Canelo like actually like be together from some um, trainings. But yeah, he's gonna I be. saw recently Ryan was helping out Logan Paul because Logan Paul mm-hmm. is fighting yeah. um, Floyd Mayweather, which that's the dumbest. <laughs> I mean, I'm so when first of all, when is this fight? When is 
Logan fighting Floyd. I, this, this guy is a professional athlete. Oh, he fought other professional athletes. Sure, he's retired, but what, he was like 15 or 40 and yeah. or something yeah. like I mean, And you think that you're going to, you're 0 and 2 <laughs> or 0 2 and 1 because he has a tie. And like, yeah. oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. I just don't get it. It's a good payday. Oh, I That's just it. see this thing. It says Logan will retire immediately after Floyd Mayweather fight. <laughs> More <Yes>. money. <laughs> they come out of retirement. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I mean, retirement means nothing nowadays because Floyd was t- retired and now he's coming back. Like, there's always a price. There's always a number that people will come back for. Mm-hmm. I remember seeing a clip of like Mike Tyson talking about um, Mayweather, like. Is he the greatest of all time? And then he put his like numbers. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, maybe was a great fighter or not, but like, he had fifty fights. You see other uh, great um, like boxers, like 80, 90 matches, and like boxing a lot more than he what he was, and yeah. they were still winning. I'm like, that was a good point. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of curious why Floyd retired when he did. Because I guess did he did he retire? No, he had one more fight after the Manny Pacquiao fight. Like, one or two more, I think. He kept retiring. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I feel like, yeah, like, he was always talking about retiring, and then something would come up, and he'd be like, yeah, I'll do this last one. I'll do this last one. I mean, I don't get it. Well, because I don't want to say it's because of money, because then, like, they gave him enough money to actually go fight. Yeah, and it's, it's definitely not about confidence, because that's always there. There had to be something, but, hmm. Well, look at Logan and Paul's fight. The money's definitely going to be there. Yeah, what I, he's making like forty million dollars or something just by fighting it. Like what? Step in the ring and make forty million dollars. Like Floyd has the most to lose in this situation. Yeah. Like because if he loses to um to Logan Paul, like you lost to like a kid, um kind of thing. Yeah. But if he wins, it's like you you, you beat up a YouTuber like. Nice. Well, and money. <laughs> no, no, the money's the big thing. But it's like, what are you risking with it? You're you're risking your reputation. Yeah. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think nobody thinks Logan Paul has a chance of winning. Yeah. Yeah, I I feel like his stamina is what's gonna bite him in the butt because he doesn't really have experience going long distance with somebody who can keep throwing punches. Like Floyd is going to be able to, to him. Um, I feel like the thing he has going for him is his reach is probably a lot farther than Floyd's is. So he can probably keep Floyd further away. But I mean, I think it's going to be a blowout. Yeah. If I wanted to bet on a stupid thing, I would put money on it. But <laughs> I have a house mortgage now. So I can't <laughs> <do that. laughs> oh now you can't make dumb bets anymore. Nope. Like no, nope. March Madness is my only time I make dumb bets. I put fifty dollars in my account every year, and when it's gone, it's gone. That's right. And it's always gone. Don't get me wrong. I never leave March <laughs> Madness with my money. Uh, <laughs> okay. dude, March Madness. Uh, ooh, guess who dropped thirty-one points last night? Oh, your your card guy. Yeah. Most improved player of the year. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely not getting MVP. No chance. He was having a slump most of the year. And then, I don't know why, but when um, the other key players aren't in the game, he, like, steps up and, like, scores 31 points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah like, can, can you keep that consistency? Like, no, he doesn't like the pressure too much. He wants other people to have the spotlight, but he'll he'll shine when he needs to. <laughs> Oh man, Steph Curry though. Oh. He's been going off, dude. Second MVP. I can see it. Oh. And he was out all last season, wasn't he? Yep. Not a not a bad return to to the court. It's like I should have bought some Steph Curry rookie cards, then sold. Like basically now, <laughs> his went like yeah, because nobody was thinking about him yeah. all when he was out, and then he just comes back even better than ever. Yeah, he just needed a little time with his family. 
<laughs> Dude, those highlights, it's just like... I mean, I just think it's wild how the guy literally steps up to the logo at half court and then just shoots it in like it's just nothing and it's like swishes. Like, who are you? <laughs> like, yeah. I feel bad if I was his brother. Like, if you're Seth Curry, you're probably mm-hmm. like, why can't I do that? Like, sure, you're in the NBA. Don't get me wrong. But mm-hmm. your brother's out here just draining half quarters. And, <laughs> I, think- and I think his dad was a big shooter, too. Mm. I didn't know that part. <laughs> bless you. <laughs> you tell him bless you. <laughs> bless you. <laughs> All our viewers uh, from around the world say bless you too. <laughs> you, you're going to show the list of all the things. Yeah. Don't show I'll the say it in the different languages too. <laughs> Don't tell the percentage. It's like, how many people see this from here? And they're like, um, I still one percent, but who cares about that part? <laughs> I'll just print off, like you said, a list, and uh, I'll, we'll get a map and we'll start coloring in whenever a country has a, a viewer from it or a listener from it. Yeah. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still wondering, like, how do they find this? I don't know, cause that that's through the podcast area. That's not even from YouTube, so I, I wonder. I feel like that's more hoops to jump through to find us on somewhere that's not YouTube. Uh-huh. I guess I, ha- I have put it on the t- um, my TikTok bio, but even before that, there were still different countries. Mm. I don't know. I'm not asking too many questions. I'm, yeah. I'm taking it. We got them, so we're good. <laughs> and then we'll hopefully... Get translated in the future, and then I'll translate it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't really translate that well on other languages. Like, oh, well, we tried. We're going to have an ASMR episode, and we're going to have just a different languages episode, and we just talk in things that aren't English or Spanish. Oh. To put us both on even playing fields. Ooh. We'll do like a German round or something. And I'm. <laughs> Hello. That's uh, high. Danka. <laughs> what, what's Danka? Thank you. Thank you. Danka. Danka. Shane Danka. is, you're welcome. Shane. You're welcome. Okay. Das Boot is the boot. Das Boot. Oh, I can see that. Das Boot. Is that really German? <laughs> I, I, I feel like you're making that up, Das Boot. Uh, beer is beer. <laughs> Wiener Schnitzel is Are you sausage. Sure it's not hmm? Are you sure it's just not Guinness? That's Ireland. Oh. Seriously? Thanks, guys, for listening to this episode of Talk <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> and Guinness is 100% an Irish beer. <laughs> Clearly, I know my beers. <laughs> It's what they everybody drinks on St. Paddy's Day. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I thought Germany. <laughs> no. Are you positive? 120%. Ah! <laughs> I've been to their brewing factory, like the original brewer in Ireland. <laughs> no way. Wow. I'm out of it. Now I know. Guinness, yeah, now you know. Ireland. Now you know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll edit this part of the podcast out. <laughs> no, this is a clip. <laughs> this is a clip. <laughs> that noise here. Editors, make sure to clip this part out and uh, highlight it for us. <laughs> yes. Highlight it for TikTok. Uh, oh. Mm. Um. When? Uh, what was it called? When you were bored as a kid. What would you do for fun? Let's say, I guess high school. Probably video games. Video games, okay. Yeah. We had um, one of our uh, workers, we were like, uh, she's taking uh, the day off, like, enjoy your childhood. She's like, but they don't let me go out. So, like, what can I do? I'm like, you have the internet. Back in my day. We had no internet. <laughs> we had sticks and stones. We'd go outside and just hit them around. We had this thing called, like, AOL. 
At the same I one. thought you were talking about AOL Instant Messenger, not just the dial-up. <laughs> the dial-up. And to save money, they would give you 90 free days to use internet. So what you would do was get those discs and then replace them every 90 days. <laughs> do you remember when text messages were 10 cents a text? <sighs> you could get the unlimited packages, but most places, just like if you didn't do unlimited, it was 10 cents for every text message. Oh, damn. Yeah. And now kids these days are just sending out emojis left and right. Like, mm. oh, man. Videos, photos. Those are even more expensive, yeah. Then, I think those were like 20 cents or something. I remember seeing um, phone calls, pay phones. So you know how, mm-hmm. like, um, if you want to answer a pay phone call, they'd be like, so-and-so is calling. I think we probably talked about this last podcast. Did we? I don't um, think so. But um, so the hack was when it says, um, say your name, you'd be like, I'm at the mall. And so the person receiving the call would be like, um, you have a call from, I'm at the mall, pick me up, please. <laughs> oh, I think we talked about that before, yeah. Um, <laughs> do you want to accept this message? Yeah. No. Yep. You have a, a call from, hey, I'm really hungry, let's get some taco bell tonight. Just <laughs> <laughs> go back and forth on accepting calls or not. Yeah. Or messaging T9. When uh, oh, when it would guess it, huh? Is that what it, when it would guess it or no? Like T T nine, um, when you had a cell phone and you just didn't have the whole uh cord cord key keypad. Oh, you had to like legit press all the buttons. Yeah. To, uh, letter. <laughs> seven seven seven. Okay, that's an R. <laughs> it's like okay, now next. Could you do it without looking? No. Oh no. You I mean, just I, it, like, I could, food. but I would not say what I wanted it to say. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would get some words out, like some simple words. And that'd be it. And then, a K. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I guess, yeah, if, I, if you were asking if I could send a K, uh, yes, I probably could send a K. <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays, people have the whole text board, like the mm-hmm. world. Candace and I were watching a uh, uh, show just earlier today, uh, and they had a T-Mobile Sidekick, which is like the the flip phone that then had the whole QWERTY keyboard that you could use, and then you would like flip it back to be like a normal cell phone. I'm like, those were the cool things, or like the razors, but the razor didn't have the full keypad, so like, uh, razor is so cool. I remember I saw one of my razors. Had a razor, cool. uh, but the phone that I had it was, I mean, I mean, what it was like this big, kind of just like the size of if you're holding out your palm, um, your your palm going up, um, just like your the palm, not the, your fingertips, and then it had a little antenna, and there was a blue light around it, but I could watch. There was like somehow like you could get TV on it, mm. but like it wasn't anything impressive. It only had the stock channel, and so I would watch the stock channel because it was. TV in Spanish class in like uh-huh. seventh grade, and I thought that I was like the coolest person ever. I learned like, about stocks. What are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> you just learning Spanish. I'm a businessman. <laughs> <laughs> but in all, all reality, I just wanted to watch something that was not my teacher. <laughs> and she, I feel bad because like I definitely took advantage of her because she was an older lady who didn't have that great of eyesight or hearing, and uh-huh. so I was just in the back of the class, just like looking down at my phone and. I would oh, have hated a book. <laughs> <laughs> I would say we'd do a BuzzFeed article, but I need to go. Yeah, so what's no. what kind of question of, of the day? That's a good question. <laughs> I was going to ask what like your first cell phone was, but I don't know like what the name of mine was. Um, you're not gonna believe what my first phone was. What was it? We just talked about it in the podcast. What was it? The T-Mobile Sidekick? No, the Razor. Razor. First Razor. I was obsessed with it, and <laughs> my mom was like, "But see, there's like other phones right here." 
I was like, no, this is it. Yeah, I think they've recently tried to have like a little comeback with razors, but like it didn't really work. iPhones dominating the game. Oh yeah. Like, then when the iPhone came out, I knew I was gonna be able to pay for that um, plan, and so I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to use all the internet. So like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Just keep that as the question of the day, what your first cell phone was. And again, I don't know the name of mine, but I explained it, or I described it the best of my abilities. <laughs> it was something under Verizon. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so everybody let us know what your first cell phone was. And we're probably going to have some listeners that are like, the iPhone 7. And to you, I say, you don't know what pain was. Um, <laughs> but as always, we appreciate all of you for taking the time out of your, your days to t- talk with us and listen with us. Uh, but we didn't have any emails come through from last or two weekends ago, uh, question of the day. So I'm assuming that you guys were all just waiting to, to blow this question up. So be looking for those answers in the comment section if you're watching on YouTube. Or you can also send it to us at TalkmanTuesday at gmail.com. And we will read through those but um if you guys have any ideas of what you want us to talk about shoot those over to us as well or any comments on things that you think we can improve because we're always looking to get a better listening experience for you guys but like i said it's been a pleasure um speaking with you and and just having you guys listen to us this week talk about charlie d'amelio logan paul jake paul addison ray um and we look forward to talking with you guys next week but in the meantime stay safe social distance and tell someone you love them thanks guys peace